clients that already had the ashtray key ready. I just wanted me to turn it into a token, so I'll be using this ashtray key. And it's also the same process in case you have the normal away and you want to cut, you just have to take a measurement, cut, and sew. So, because now I'll take a full length measurement of this ashtray key so you know in case you want to do yours. So, the full length of this ashtray key. 60, 69, so it's 69, so that's 69, it depends on the ashtray, you know some people cut it short, some people cut it longer, so since this part is already sewn, I'll take a your head measurement for general is 22, so I'll make it 24, so by the time I sew it, it's going to come back to 22, it's going to come back to 22 by the time I fold it in. But if it's not up to 22, but if this side is not yet sewn and you are just cutting a normal hour, you take a measurement of 25. So by the time you sew this side and you sew this side, it's going to come back to be 22. So let's take that measurement first, 24. I'll mark that. Because it's a already sewn um, ashtray, you want to make sure that the measurement is accurate. So what I do is I take a measurement again. So we have our first piece. If it was a normal hour where you take a measurement of 25, you cut four four away. Measurement of 25, you cut four uh, layers, then you sew together, then you hold it, hold it, then it results back to 25. So we will we'll go to our machine, we'll sew this part. When we finish sewing this part. Then we'll come back and we'll do our first plate on her first layer. Let's go to our machine. Sew this end. When I sew this end, I'll come back and show you how we do our first step. Thank you.